Welcome to Learnpedia, the 24 by 7 JE and NEET resource at your fingertips. Let's see if you can answer this actual JE question. If you think you got the answer, post your answer in the comment section below. To know the best way to answer this question, watch this video further. Wien's displacement law, actually the radiation emitted by a body is a mixture of waves of different wavelengths. As we know that radiation is basically electromagnetic wave. So if we observe the radiation emitted by a body, then we'll get to know that it is a mixture of waves of different wavelengths. However, there is only a small range of wavelength which has significant contribution in the total radiation. And it is observed that in any particular radiation emitted by the body at a particular temperature, there will be a certain wavelength whose contribution will be maximum to the total intensity of radiation means there are several wavelengths mixed up but there is a certain wavelength which has the maximum contribution which provide maximum contribution to the total intensity and that particular wavelength is found to be dependent on the temperature so what I am saying is that radiation from a body is mixture of several wavelengths all right there is one particular wavelength there is one particular wavelength which contributes most in radiation that means the intensity corresponding to this particular wavelength will be maximum that means the contribution to the total energy as per this wavelength will be maximum so this is not the maximum wavelength sometimes people get confused this is not the maximum wavelength this is that particular wavelength which contributes maximum in the total intensity or the total energy of radiation and it was observed that this particular wavelength is basically found to be inversely proportional to the absolute temperature of the body. So lambda m into t is equal to a constant b. Lambda m is the wavelength corresponding to the maximum contribution to the total radiation. T is the temperature of the body, absolute temperature of the body. And according to Wien's displacement law, lambda m into capital T is equal to b. Means if we increase the absolute temperature of the body, then this particular wavelength which contributes most in the total intensity total energy will be inversely proportional to the temperature absolute temperature we can make a graph between the wavelength and the contribution of the wavelength to the total intensity then the graph will be something like this all right so we can see here that these graphs are plotted for different temperatures all right so as the temperature is increasing then the particular wavelength for which the con intensity contribution is maximum is decreasing all right so these values of the wavelengths the peak one means for the temperature say this particular temperature is 800k so for 800k here we can read the value of the lambda from lambda axis and if we increase the temperature then lambda for this particular temperature will be less than the earlier one so as we increase the temperature then the wavelength corresponding to maximum contribution decreases according to this law so it is basically lambda m into capital T is equal to b and b here is known as Wien's constant B here is known as Wien's constant and its value is found to be 
eight centimeter Kelvin. The value of the B, which is Wien's constant, is found to be 0.288 centimeter Kelvin. So you can remember this value. All right. Consider one example for this Wien's displacement law that light from sun, just assume that light from the sun is found to have a maximum intensity near the wavelength of 470 nanometer. That means if we analyze the light coming from the sun, then for the sun, lambda, which has the maximum contribution to the total intensity is 470 nanometer. Assuming that surface of the sun emits as a black body, calculate the temperature of the surface of the sun. Since this is the particular wavelength which corresponds to the maximum contribution to total radiation. radiation. So we know that according to Wien's displacement law, lambda m into t is equal to b. So lambda m is 470 nanometer, that means 10 raised to the power minus 9, 470 nanometer into the absolute temperature capital T that is something that we have to calculate equal to B. So in MKS system, if you want to write, then B will be what? Point, in case one meter is 100 centimeters, so it will be 0 0.00288 meter Kelvin. So this way, we can calculate the absolute temperature of the sun and it is found to be 6130 Kelvin if you calculate it. All right, so such questions may be asked on the Wien's displacement law. This is a simple relation that you have to use, and normally these questions will be very, very simple. Here in this example, you can see that for light coming from sun, this particular wavelength is said to be contributing the most to the total radiation, then According to this wavelength, we can assess the temperature of the sun using the Wien's displacement law. Now let us understand the Stephens Boltzmann law. What is that? Stephens Boltzmann law. So according to Stephens Boltzmann law, the amount of energy, the thermal radiation emitted per unit time by a black body of surface area A is given by U equal to sigma a t raised to the power 4 where t is the temperature of the black body so here this is written for black body all right this is written for black body means if there is a black body having surface area a and temperature absolute temperature capital t then the energy of thermal radiation emitted per unit time u is the energy of thermal radiation emitted per unit time is given by this relation where sigma sigma is a universal constant known as stephens boltzmann constant all right sigma is a universal kind of a constant means its value is going to remain the same everywhere it is a universal kind of a constant and the value of sigma is found to be 5.67 into 10 raised to the power minus 8 watt per meter square Kelvin power 4. The unit is something that you can see from here because this U, U is amount of energy radiated per unit time. U is amount of energy radiated per unit time by the black body okay and on the other hand for any other ordinary object this energy u can be written as a small e sigma a t raised to the power 4 where a small e letter here i have already told you it is emissivity a small e is emissivity all right and we have already proved that numerical value of emissivity is same as that of the absorptivity it is just a matter of context 
emissivity is used in the context of emitting the energy, radiating the energy, and absorptivity is in the context of absorbing the energy. But we have already seen that the nature is designed in such a manner that absorption and radiation, both the properties go hand in hand, and here it is quite evident that emissivity is same as absorptivity. The better you can absorb, the better you can radiate. So that is the rule means good absorbers are good radiators of energy. Hey there, hope you understood the concept. Here's the solution to the question asked at the beginning. Hit the bell icon below to subscribe to the Learnpedia channel and to learn more through such interesting videos. Learnpedia's JE and NEET prep tools contain more than 4,000 videos and over 20,000 questions. These can be accessed online through our website or offline through an SD card or a pen drive. To buy now, visit www.learnpedia.in. You can also try a free demo of our product before buying.